Um, and we already do beach cleanups uh, every four months. Uh, month. And uh, so now, uh, what is left to do? Uh, so the first project will be to do a short film to raise the awareness in our school. The target will be the teenagers. And it's going to be really difficult because we all know that teenagers is really, it's really hard to convince them. Um, so we're going to target especially teenagers from FIS, but we're going to post it on YouTube. So maybe it's going to expand to Hong Kong. We don't know. Um, so we're going to alert them about the, the plastic crisis in Hong Kong, especially in our school, because we have a closed restaurant. JJ will talk about this later. And we're using a lot of plastic and we're pollute. Uh, yes, this, this place is really polluted. So the storyline, um, the four of us, we will be uh, filmed separately and we will be acting in four different stories. I don't know really how to say. So for example, uh, Kenza is gonna do some surveys into Hong Kong, into the markets, to see if, the, if people are okay to, to use papers and not plastic anymore. Um, Annabelle is going to, to do a trip on a boat She's going to tell you about it later. Uh, GJ is uh, a good drawer, so he's going to do some arts in Hong Kong. And um, I will do some races, for example, Green Power. As you know, it's really involved for the environment in Hong Kong. So um, in short, uh, what Elsa just said is exactly that. And um, so what we're also going to do is that through these four different individual projects, we are going to try to show that um, there are different ways to um, find a solution. And there isn't just one to this problem. And to show that we're all a community. So I, we're going to try to film each other all and going through different paths and different ways. And at the end, we're all intertwined and connected as a community, showing that um, this isn't something you do alone. This is a team effort. And um, it is something that is going to be uh, good in the long term. And which is going to bring, and which is um, which involves a lot of effort. Uh, so I'm going to talk about the second project. Um, as you may know, this is the Hong Kong Tennis Center, and uh, this is where we have our uh, sort of local restaurant, where uh, it's a little shop where um, the kids, uh, the high schoolers from our school, they go to eat at lunch breaks. So uh, you get the food uh, behind the, the little building there and so uh, they go to sit on the stairs and uh, what happens is that they don't throw uh, their um, food trays and garbage in the bins and they just leave it on the floor uh, in these two areas uh, there's another area uh, down there you'll see um, it's down the steps they also go down the steps and so um, the waste just fills up and it's uh, sometimes uh, it pretty much looks like a landfill, and it's just covered in uh, in plastic waste. So it's behind this, and we sort of try to hide it, but it's very visible in the end. Uh, this is from Google Maps, so you won't see much. But if you actually go on a Friday night to our school, it's really disgusting. Uh, so the problem is that. These are the only two specific items that are thrown. Uh, it's the polystyrene trays and the nesty uh, bottle, which everybody loves for some reason. Um, we do have recycling bins. Uh, we do have it in our school and at the Sumai, the little uh, restaurant. Uh, but we don't have the connection between uh, the waste and the garbage bins. So yeah, I already said that. So as we said, it's a local restaurant near our school. And uh, what we're trying to do is change their behavior. And regarding styrofoam and plastic, so try to get them to, be, to make that connection, as we said, between your trash, your waste, and the bins that are located um, at our school and near the restaurant, that you actually have to put them inside and not just leave them outside. And we're also going to change the um, polystyrene boxes they use. We're going to change it to um, paper boxes. 
because a uh, styrofoam is uh, um, indefinite, it never, um, it never disappear. So we want to change it to paper boxes. The problem is it's more expensive, so we don't know if they will agree to change it, but we will try to bring the solution and to, to fundraise our project. Thank you. Thank you very much.